All right, boys, listen, y'all got to be quiet now. Go. All right. If y'all would please stretch your hand forward and pray for me. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Father God, that you will quicken that body, that moon by the Lord, Father God. To, Lord, be sensitive to your spirit, oh Lord, give her the strength. Lord, the word to let it come forth, to open her mouth, Lord, and you would fill it like your words said. Lord. Lord, Father God, and your perfect will be done, Lord, Father God. Lord, that you would speak, Lord, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen, Lord, Father God. Courage, Lord, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, and anything that would hinder we ask that you remove it. In Jesus' precious name. Lord, Father God, that your word will accomplish what you sent it out to do. Lord, Father God, be sensitive, Lord, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We believe and trust in you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, you love the Lord. Well, you know, I've been going to town the other day, and man, is this really loud? I feel like I'm like, it's got new batteries. I feel like that. And it's been a long time since I've seen that little cartoon Chicken Little and there's this yeah. alien from there and it's like, use your big voice. <laughs> Did you use your big voice on me? That's what yeah. I feel like. Is it too loud? That's good. The neighbors can hear it. Yeah, we don't really need a microphone at all in here. But we do it hopefully somebody can hear us outside. Amen. Come on. That's right. That's These trailers are so... That's right. Come on. They're, so, they're so thin. Those walls are so thin. You can on, hear everything right. outside. All they have to do is just sit right outside. They can hear everything. You know? But, you know, I was going I was going uh, to town the other day, and, you know, I was got my mind on the Lord, and, you know, Brother Sonny, I was just basking in the presence of the Lord, and I was reading, I mean, not reading, but the scripture was coming to my mind. Amen. And, yes. you know, I was seeing things, and I know I've preached on it several times. I say it a lot, Brother Sonny, but I guess, you know, the, the Lord just like, it's kind of like, okay, it's not like these TVs today, but them old TVs, you know, oh, where, wow. you know, you get the antenna, and you're like, kind of like yeah. tuning in, and right. the picture gets a little clearer, and a little clearer, Brother Sonny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's no, that's kind of what it is. You know, I want to go to Genesis 1. I don't know how this is all going with me. We in it for, listen, we, most of the time when I get up here, we in it all together. Because I don't know where we going. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. All right. In Genesis 1 and 10, it said, God called the dry land earth and gathered together the waters called the sea, he sees, and God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. Amen. You know, Brother Saint says, God said, let there be. Yes. And there was. Amen. Exactly. Amen. And God put within everything that he created right. a seed. Yeah. 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 And that seed has got to produce. Exactly. Amen. Yes. What, Amen. what does it produce? You know, you don't get you don't plant an apple tree and be like, man, I'm so disappointed because, you know, I really was wanting orange juice. Right. You know, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like because <laughs> you ain't you, you don't oh. never plant something expecting something else. Right. You know, oh, hold right. to God's unchanging hand. God doesn't change. That's I don't right. think right. we appreciate the fact that God don't change. Because people, they're so fickle and they're so wishy-washy. Right. I tell right. you, know, they're with you one moment. Yep. Woo, we, we're going to conquer the world in the next minute and something happens. And they're like, the I don't know, girl. you just going to have to fight this one out. All, right. 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 all of a sudden, right. Right. their minds done change. They feel different about, right. about the situation, but God never changes. Never. He never That's changes. Right. Men change. Men change with right. the times, Amen. but God never changes. Right. And I think Amen. that is one thing that I can appreciate about right. God that is a wonderful. I'm telling you because sometimes, Brother Sonny, it ain't wonderful when Come you're on, on the, the negative receiving end of that right. because, you know, my mama, she used to say, it sure is my name is mama. 
And that really wasn't mama, but. <laughs> she said, just as sure as my name is mama. And I knew I was getting my butt tore up. Now, she might have said to me a few times, if you don't quit, you don't get whipping when you get home. She might have forgot, but man, as soon as she said, as sure as my name, Mama, when I get you home, oh, you get right. me. You know, you know and I got it, brother. <laughs> she gave it to me yeah, pretty right. good. Because yeah. cause you done made her get their big voice down. You know, yeah, right. <laughs> just as sure as my name, Mama. And she cut them out just so, you know, you knew you were in trouble. That's right. You know, that's the time you wish your mama would change her mind. Uh, yeah. You know, men are like that. They want God to change his mind on the things that they want to do. But I tell you what, if you can appreciate the fact that God don't never change, because they know what, Brother Sonny, my mama is just a human being. She, she's lived in different places. She don't have the same house that, you know, we grew up in and different things. But I tell you what, my mom is the same, Brother Sonny. I know that if I needed some food, my mama would be bringing me some food. I know that if I needed something, my mama's going to bring me something. Yeah, because right. that's who my mama is, right. brother. Say, yeah. God is a great God, yes. and God yeah. is is more than able. And I that's tell you right. what, wow. He's the same yes. Yes. yesterday, today, and forever. And when He right. said a broken and a contrite spirit, that He'll yes. done oh why cast out, yes. brother. Say, He meant it. Yes. He meant yes. it. And when He said. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, for I never knew you. He right. meant that too, That's brother. Right. Sonny. Yeah. You know, he lets his yeas be yeas and his nays be nays. Yeah. And really, you don't have to be on the fence about how God feels about yeah. something. Right. Just read the book. And if you don't find your answer there, get on your knees and pray. Yeah. And he'll That's reveal right. it to you. Because yeah. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And yeah. God is the creator right. of life. And we need everything, brother. Sonny, he put a seed. Amen. Come on. You know, there's not a whole lot that, you know, you can really listen to when the world produces it. Even those crazy National Geographics, brother. Because you know what they're doing? All the time pushing that evolution theory as if it's fact. It's a theory, brother. And they push that thing and they push that thing. But I tell you what, they got some things right. And one thing they talk about is the 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 drive within all of nature to reproduce, to to bring forth its 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 seed, brother Sonny. Come on, yeah. you know that that frog or whatever it is that they're talking about. It says the they'll be talking about you know the salmon swimming upstream or something. I'd be like, but it's driven. It's driven. They'll be talking about. If they talk about apes or monkeys or something, they don't be talking about the female choosing the best male because they want the best genes. Come right? on now. The salmon swim upstream, brother. So they're driven. And in, 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 in these videos or stuff that, that National Geographic or whoever, you know, produces, there's always... This truth, this one truth about how nature is always driven to reproduce. Right. Come on, right. Amen. Reproduce. Right, right. yeah. Brother Sonny, God put within everything that he created yes, it seed to reproduce. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Reproduce right, yeah. after it's come. That's right. right. Amen. Of itself, Brother right. Sonny. That's right. Because he looked after all his creation, he said, it's good. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's good. That's right. That's right. That's right. He liked what he's saying, and he said, now go be fruitful and multiply. Right. Right. Come on. Amen. You go read the, the, the parable of the, the talents. One he gave ten, and one he gave five, and one he gave one, and, and the one that he gave one, he took his talent and buried it in the dirt and the earth and for safekeeping. Guess he didn't trust himself. He'd be like me, cause I, I go, like, I don't know where I put it. I'm gonna search in the whole house. Yeah, right. No, I tell you what. But one talent was a, a lot of money, brother Sonny. It was something valuable. God gave them something, gave them something valuable. And he went and buried it, so he wouldn't. 
Well, you know, it really doesn't make sense because if I give you something, why am I coming to, to get it back? Because I could I could bypass that step altogether. I didn't need to give it to you. I could put it in my own pocket. You know, he could have dug his own hole and put it in. But he's, he's giving and putting trust within you and confidence that he's going to give you that talent. Come on. Just for you to give it back to him, he's like, you fool. You could have put it in the sink and drew interest off of it. You could have done something with it. But he didn't. You know? And I was thinking about this seed. Seed. You know, everything has a seed. You know, we think of the fruit of the, that is the fruit, the the. The fruit is the medium or whatever that the seed comes in, you know? Right. You get a pine tree, you get a pine cone. Right, yeah. Now, the pine cone ain't the seed, but it contains the seed. That's right, right. Yeah. come on. Right. You know, you got these magnolia trees out here. They, man, they shedding everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know, but in that little magnolia cone, yeah. on that ball. It, 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 it's the seed, but it has many seeds yeah. within it. Come on, right. Every yeah. time you turn around, those seeds dropping all over the place you know what i'm saying and 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 there you go you see a little magnolia tree just pop up you know why because something's driven within that dna of that seed that when the conditions are right brother sunny it doesn't matter i have seen pine trees little big old pine trees like this tall you know sticking out of somebody's gutter you know that drive to produce that drive to be to to live, Brother Sonny. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because I think it's the saddest thing to see that, you know, when somebody don't have children, you know, you don't think about it in this day and time. But, you know, back in the day, somebody don't have children. Mm-hmm. You know, what are they going to do when they get old? Because they didn't have no nurse home to put you right, in. Right. You know, you took care of your own. That's right. mm-hmm. Somebody took care of their own. They had no children, brother. Sonny, there was nobody. What What was the next? I mean, if you lived in a big old house and a big old mansion and you, you build up all your life, but you don't leave it to nobody. Right. It kind of almost feel like in vain, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's in you to produce something and leave the next generation with something. To leave the next generation with something. Now. I don't tell much people, many people, but I trace my genealogy back quite far, Brother Sonny. Mm-hmm. And you know, I think it's 23rd, 24th great grandmother I had in Scotland. Yeah. I'm Scottish. Yeah. Curry. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Got the clan, you know, yeah. little skirt, <laughs> skirt wearing dudes over there. Yeah. Go over there. And uh, England taking them over. They had a great grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a different kind, brother, though. Is that a pop Great, great grandmother. Right, brother Sunny? Yeah. And uh, her uh, daddy. Was uh, y'all ever seen Braveheart the movie? The movie Braveheart, yeah. Bruce Robert the Bruce was her daddy, and they're trying to get their freedom from England, mm-hmm. and they eventually won. Mm-hmm. But in the middle of that war, my great 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 grandmother, he had married a first wife. And when his first wife married uh, him, they only produced one child. She died in childbirth. And their child became my great grandmother, who they were going to war. And England kind of, he, he sent them off with, I think, a couple of his sisters and his, his daughter and somebody else. And they were trying to flee, and he was trying to put them in the safety. Right. But instead, of the putting them safety, they got captured. And so they took her, her and a couple of them. One one girl, she she had a father and they wanted some favor with him, so he they just put her on house arrest. But the other two, 
They put and built wooden cages and humiliated them publicly. Every day they put them and hung them up in these wooden cages. She stayed there, Brother Sonny, for years. She was captured and she they sent her to a convent and whatever. And she was in prison for four years and all this stuff. Finally, they went there. The, the Scottish won a war and they captured somebody that the English wanted. So they made a trade. But she was already been in, in prison for all this long a time. And she gets out, marries Walter Stewart, whatever his name was. And he mar she marries him, and and they uh, she has a, a child, brother son, and that child that was produced was the king of Scotland, first king. Of, well, he was be the first, but it's Richard. You know that's great, brother son. Yeah, amen. That's awesome. Right. I've got yeah. king royalty. Blood, blood, brother yeah, son. Blood. blood. But, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, but got some, my family, the, they come up from Scotland, you know, down to the Bahamas, down through Key West, you know, they helped establish one of the first pioneers in Florida, Henry County, named after my, my uncle, right, all oh, this great stuff. Right, 1917, grandfather in the state legislature, Florida legislature, yeah. you know, for his county. Oh, that's great, brother. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I grew up in the projects. <laughs> I ain't get nothing. I like where my money, because I scored enough, ain't got none. <laughs> but I tell you what they did back then, they married. And they married within these marriages, Brother Sonny, and you didn't get out of your class. You know, that's why, you know, I can only trace some parts of the family so far, Brother Sonny. You know why? Because they didn't have no money. They were broke as I was. You know, they were a farmer, <laughs> just like I was. But plenty of doctors and plenty of lawyers. But my grandpa and them were ranchers. That's what they were. They just did whatever they could do, right? My grandpa, but his daddy. And it was the superintendent of schools over there in Venice Beach. They helped, uh, they established Venice Beach in Sarasota County and all that stuff, right? But I said, I ain't got no money. Come on. I was see? just a couple generations back. Now, I told you one that was like way back, right? We went from King <laughs> <laughs> to the project. Right? And the project. You say, well, what's the point of me telling you that? Let me tell you something. You go back far enough in your genealogy, you got somebody you don't know about too. But I'll tell you what, Brother Sonny, Adam and Eve with my mom and daddy, I don't see nobody get excited about those things. But Noah, so one of his sons was in my lineage, Brother Sonny. I don't know which one he was, but he was in my lineage. I guarantee you, I've hit all three of them. <laughs> all three of them, if you go far enough back. That seed, brother, Shane, that seed, that seed, it produces to lead the next generation something. But you know what, brother, <laughs> Of my family, I don't know what we done. We fizzled out through the years. Right. Uh, we fizzled out through the years. We ain't got nothing. You know why? Because that's great if you wanted the guy to go sit around a round table somewhere and brag about your lineage. That, that would be great. That would be awesome, you know? You sitting there bragging to everybody. When I ain't got nothing. Uh, when I live in a single wide trailer, you get what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing. You know why? Because... For whatever reason, mm -hmm. it didn't fizzle down and get me. It don't matter how much. Come on. It doesn't matter how much what you got in that DNA, Brother Sonny. It doesn't matter how much blood or whatever you got, Brother Sonny. I ain't got no substance to it. I haven't got anything, Brother Sonny. Because you know why? Because... For, for, like I said, for whatever reason, someone made a different choice. They, they went their own way, Brother Sonny, and they got further and further from that, that, whatever, call of life or station of life or whatever it is. You say, well, what are you talking about? I'm saying this, that God put a seed in me the day that I got born. Mm-hmm. 
I got something valuable yes, down deep inside of me. Yes, and there's a drive, Brother Sonny, to produce something. There is a drive to live. That seed that God produced in me, it has a drive to live, Brother Sonny. But I don't got anything unless I got some substance. I don't got anything. We can talk about being Christian, but unless you've let that fruit work, unless, let me tell you something, and for all the people that think that the fruit of the Spirit is prophecy and, and all that. No, it's love, it's joy, it's gentleness, it's kindness. This is the fruit of the Spirit. This is where that seed of God lives. If we're ever going to produce anything in the kingdom of God, these fruits have to be there. They have to be the medium of the medium that carries the seed. And I don't care how well you talk. If you don't walk the walk, you ain't got nothing. All you're doing is sitting around the round table bragging When you ain't got nothing, nothing but a name. I tell you something, I could go to the bank and tell them, uh, you know what? Who my great great granddaddy is? Yeah, right. <laughs> They're gonna be like, that's, that's, right. that's, that's great. Who's he? <laughs> yeah, that, that's great. You know, that, that's great. But I can't write a check on granddaddy when I ain't been in the circle. <laughs> but when, that money didn't filter down my mind. Oh, but so many people go to the house. Bragging on right. God and what they got, and they ain't got nothing. They done right. made choices yeah. in their life that, that they've walked away. They haven't cultivated that seed. Right. But if God ever put something deep oh, down right. on the inside on, of you, right. it's a drive to yeah. live. It's a drive to produce a, another generation. Because I tell you what, there's some great preachers. I love B.H. Condemned told his dad Amen. over and over again. But he's dead, brother Sonny. He's
myself included, got so many empty promises, empty checks. Come on, bro. We're taking to the bank. Ain't like Paul, I know. <laughs> to Jesus, I know. But who are you? <laughs> because there's no drive in us. That's right. Yeah, come on. There's no drive in us yeah. to produce. Right. Come on. Come on. We're comfortable in the state my, that we're my, in. My. We're content. Now Paul said be, I learned to be content where I was. He wasn't talking about in Christ. He was saying whatever situation God yeah. puts me in, I learned to be content right. in him. Right. Brother right. Sonny, but he That's wasn't right. content no. with the things of God. He wasn't yeah. he wasn't half hearted. No. He wasn't just, you know, in the in the in the prison just for his, you know, like he ain't got nothing to do. He's on a vacation, you know. <laughs> I guess I just don't care. I just go to prison, you know. No, Brother Sonny, he had a heart and a desire to see that the gospel be spread all around the world. He had a desire and a, and a, and a fire that was just burning within him of to bring more people in, Brother Sonny. He had a desire, but so many times we're so comfortable and it's so easy to fall asleep. That's right. That's right, sister. It's so yeah. easy to fall asleep. Yes. But the Bible says, watch, yes. pray, shake yourself, brother right. Sonny, shake that's yourself. That's but the thing is, is it's so easy to fall asleep right. in a world yep. that seems to be like it's doing all right. Uh, oh, we right. got some troubles, but yeah. we okay, because ain't nobody starving, and ain't nobody went without electricity, bro. Uh, <laughs> and ain't nobody really hurting but I tell you what, I tell you, it is a dangerous place That's to right. be long right. asleep. That's right. Amen. Sir. It's a dangerous place because you're not doing nothing for nobody. That's right. Yes, amen. You're not doing a thing for nobody. And still yet, Brother Sonny, we have lost loved ones on, yeah. that are out of the world on, yeah. and we worry about them, but yet we don't move us to do anything. Come on. We see our neighbors uh, come in and go out in the same old mess that they're always in, but we're not moved to do a thing, yeah. Brother Sonny. Not a thing. You know why? Because there's no drive. We've lost our drive. We sleep. Have you ever been so tired <laughs> that you can like almost wish that the whole house would fall on you and you wouldn't move? You'd be like, oh, I don't care right now. You know, it'd be interesting. <laughs> It's like you can't, I've been so tired that I just like, I don't care, you know. You got to go to the bathroom and you still sit there. <laughs> it's hurting and you're like, oh, I just don't care. I just stay right here, you know. You're like, I still wish I wore diapers. <laughs> you're like, I don't want to move. That's where we are. We really are in a church world. Yes. That's unconcerned. Amen. There's no drive. There's no drive. It's like, well, if the Lord wants the seed to be planted, He planted. Yeah. That's our that's our mentality. You know, like like God, God going to plant this whole field. He tell you something. You better get out there because if you waiting on God to plant that field that you got at your house, you be waiting a long time. Because He said, I already did it. Because I gave a body with two right, hands right, and two right. feet and, and I gave you the ability to go out and do it because he told Adam and Eve, he said you dress the garden right, yes, you dress it God brings the sun God, brother son it is God all of it's God because God's got the sun God right. made the sea God made you yeah. God yeah. blesses yeah. it but you've got to do something. That's right. You've got that's to move. That's right. We can wish all day long because that's what a lot of us call prayer wishing. Hope. Right. Come on. You know, that's we say we're praying. Oh man, I pray. Really what you're saying is, I hope. Right. Come on. I, I I hope it works out. But I'm telling you, we got to I'm telling you, the day and time that we live in. Come on, sister. We have got to get serious. And if you ain't got no get up and go about you, God knows it. 
That's right. Come on, yes, Pray Lord. about it. Yes, yes, Put your faith in God. Watch yes. God right. stir you. But you got to be in a heart where you want to be stirred. Yes. You got to want right. it. You got to. You got to be able to to right. to have a desire and a, and God can put it in there. But you're going to have to pray for it. You're going to have to do something. You're yeah. going to have to move. You're going to have to act. You're going to have to because if you just sit there and do nothing, you'll die right there. Yeah. Get left. When that city was sieged and they were kicked outside the city and everybody starving to death, the people eating the kids because they could eat some, see some food. And then lepers are like, I can't go in there. I might as well go to the enemy here because maybe they'll have mercy on me. He said, we're going to sit here. We either got to do something or we're going to sit here and die just like this. And that's where a lot of us have got to get to. We got to realize that we Brother Sonny, and we might be cast outside the city, and it seems a little bleak and dark with the enemy looking at you, but we got to get to the point where we got to say, I got to get up and do something, or I'm going to sit here and I'm going to die. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to die. Oh, we got to shake ourselves. The Bible says, Shake yourself. Shake yourself. You think it's going to fall down out of heaven? It's not. That's right. You gotta actively press toward it. But if you make one move, watch God make two. Come on now. That that boy had to walk all the way from that pig pen all the way to daddy's house. But let me tell you, it said when the father seen him afar off, he came running to him. You gotta make up your mind. You are tired of living in a pig pen, stopping the world hogs. Oh, hallelujah. Stopping the world hogs.
same breath, same breath, same breath, same breath. Same. Y'all don't realize I try not to look at y'all too much. I'm like, I just like right here. Like I don't want to look up too much. I'm like, I don't want to see everybody and get all nervous. So anyways, I keep myself in the zone. <laughs> Sister Becky, <laughs> if, if you've got some apples, each within each one of those apples yes. is more than one seed. Right. You've got several seeds, and now those seeds produce trees, and those produce, right. and not only is there good wood, not only is there fruit for, for man to eat or birds to eat, right. there's shade, there's so much value in that tree. But if you, I don't know, <laughs> we ain't got no green thumb. Listen, I got some, some uh, Satsuma trees. I don't know what it is about our land, but it don't like nothing. We moved that thing like four times, and it was like the water was following it and drowned it, you know? <laughs> like, of a lake, you know, <laughs> he moves it, you know, somewhere else, and I mean, it's like, we couldn't, the water was falling on that tree, it was like, it was bound to determine, like, I'm going to drown you. Y'all need something dead, give us a call. We yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful. Oh, I, had, I had some peach trees one time, I thought, oh, for sure, I'm going to do something with this. It had some it had some buds on it, you know, and I actually got a couple peaches All off right. of it, Amen. right? Yes, thank you, yeah. Jesus. One time, because it came from the store with them on it. <laughs> it didn't last long. Oh, the next time, the next season come around, it got buds all over. I'm like, wow, this thing's going to produce. We're going to have oh. <laughs> All my little bones are gone. Oh, Just gone. And tomato, come on. How hard can a tomato? Everybody got a YouTube video on tomatoes. I had a tomato bush. It was beautiful. This thing was huge. It was tall enough. The, the lattice on the porch, I mean, it was oh, tall wow. and beautiful. And all you pluck them though. Right. You don't it's let them get red on the vine. Amen. No, no, I mean like, I'm talking like they ain't half the size they supposed to be. Oh, like, okay. Like green. green. Gotcha. That's as far as it went, My you know. Brother Sonny, if this was back before grocery stores, uh, you know, uh, now uh, I know uh, that Casio Cortez lady uh, said, yeah. who needs farmers? We got grocery stores. Uh, right. But I know where the food comes from. And if I was a farmer, we'd be starved to death here in America. It would not be no Feed America programs out there. I'm just saying. Because if I had to reduce, if I had to rely on what I produce, we'd be dead 
in a week. It's not, it's not from the lack of trying. It ain't from the lack of trying. My grandma said, you need some, some lime on that soil, honey. I mean something. And I'm telling you, I'm like, Triple grandma, 13. let me tell you, grandma be getting, grandma, <laughs> Grandma be getting like plants off of people's face. She, come, she don't even put it in the ground. She got it in a napkin right there on the windowsill in the kitchen. Stuff growing like crazy. Got roots everywhere. I tried that. That thing died on me. And I even kept the napkin wet. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what you know? Grandma said, you need this and you need that. But she's like, I go get this, yeah, I go yeah. get that. Yeah. I said, okay, I need this fertilizer. I yeah. put it on my tomato plants. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to yeah. Every one of them died. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's looking a little dry. We put, we sit there watering dead plants for like two weeks. <laughs> I just got to come back. Come on, right. <laughs> 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 I mean, hey, when we been on the garden, we could have went to Captain Andy. <laughs> <laughs> grandma said you put it Grandma said you put too much fertilizer on it. I said, Grandma, oh we put it like a spoonful yeah, like you told right, me. Yeah. Right yeah, around right. the tree. Yeah. She said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know either. Uh -oh. That's what I need. Go to grandma's house. Grandma So here, grandma. You go to grandma's house <laughs> and she's like, oh honey, come get you some of this squash. Yeah, come get yeah. this zucchini. I mean she got watermelons like this. Yeah. I can't go to find. I had watermelon before she had watermelon. Right, right. And my watermelon didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and it went like this and then yeah, right. all of a sudden it was gone. It was gone.
Because God gave us a seed. That's he right. told Moses, he said, why are you chiding with me? I gave you a rod. Go forth. Right. Tell the people to go forth. Why yeah. are you sitting here complaining? Right. I right. gave right. you the authority when I put the rod in your hand. Yes. Now go Amen. forth. I'm telling you, God put a seed yeah. within us. Yeah. And yeah. we'll get serious about this thing. And we begin to prime the prop. Yeah. Oh, my Lord, what will God do? Yeah. If we would get to the point That's where right. we're not content uh, with just right. this with living on oh, the ground yeah. like a bunch of like a you know like a bunch of uh chickens yeah. pecking a little bit here. Yeah. Right, right. You see them buzzards? Be circling. Right, right. Yeah. I'm getting tickled the day my dog was out there and she goes. <laughs> yeah. She don't point to you, you know, so yeah. she's like Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's trying to talk to me and I, I'm like what is she doing and he's like oh she's been looking at them buzzards up there I look up there and there's the buzzards oh, just flying around oh they're bird too brother Sonny yeah. but I don't want to be eating what no buzzard is eating right. you know right. chitlins might be great if you're starving but I like to eat a little bit higher up on the hog than some chitlins oh, I tell you what going to church and having a goose bump and hearing a few songs is good brother Sonny but I want some meat yeah. I'm tired in the same old routine yeah. uh, all eating That's just right. some dead meat uh, but I want fresh meat yeah. that I caught today yeah. hallelujah yeah. and I want what yeah. God would have me to have uh, because yeah. sitting here eating a buzzard meat uh, ain't that great uh, he didn't call me to eat like a buzzard but he called me to soar like an eagle yeah. he didn't call me to slither yeah. around on my yeah. belly yeah. but he called me uh, to sit on two feet uh, yeah. I ate yeah. uh, oh Every animal, yes. every animal on this earth, Brother Sonny, mm -hmm. I don't care if it's a chicken, it got two legs, but it bows to man. Yes, sir. Everyone bows to man Amen. because man was the apex of, of God's creation. Right, I right, tell right, you right, what, right, uh, right. Uh, even a monkey, or orangutan, whatever, they got uh, two legs, uh, uh, but I tell you what, they go right back down yeah, because right. every creature right. bows to man. Yeah. Uh, you know why? Because we are the apple of his eye. Right. We are royalty. We're a priesthood. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. We are greater. Greater than we ever thought we were. If we'd yeah. recognize who we are in yeah. God. Come if we'd on. recognize yeah. who yeah. we are in Amen. God. Right. But to produce something. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. It's going to take more than sitting here wanting it. That's yeah. right. Come on, it's right. going to take some prayer. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Amen. And be honest with God. Right. God, yes. God yes. Amen. Yes. like praying. Amen. Yes. God, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do five minutes. Come on. Watch that thing grow to ten. You have got to you have got you have got to get to the point that you realize that you can't be led around by Esau no more. That's right. Come on, yeah, right. You can't be. He was a sort planner. He had Esau on the foot. Yeah, let me tell you right. something. And he got that word promise, brother Sonny. Yeah. But he had to work for it. Yes, it's not going to just fall right out of heaven. Come on, Sarah. It's right. not just going to fall right out of heaven. You're going to have to desire it. Yes, come on. You're yes. going to have Amen. to work toward it. Amen, sister. That's right. So yeah. I can tell you, I desire, brother, Sonny, to lose some weight. <laughs> Ain't going to happen if you don't put the cake down. <laughs> That's right. Amen. <laughs> you gonna, right you're going to want to lose it all you want to. Right. But ain't going nowhere unless you put action. Right. You say, well, that's not faith. Let me tell you something. Faith without works is dead. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yes, dead if Amen. you believe God, then you act. Let me tell you something. He didn't tell Moses. I mean, what's his name? Abraham. Yeah. Abraham. He told him about the promise, right? Yeah. And Abraham didn't say, well, I don't know why God can't give it to me right God. here. You know, and just stay right there hoping one day I'm going to see that promise. But he moved out. He moved out. Yeah. And you see over and over and over. Yeah. Noah, God told Noah what was going to happen. Uh -huh. And Noah began to build an ark. Right. There's always right. action put That's behind. Right. But this new, this new generation of like a state of mind. You know, I'll tell you, I've seen some crazy people. Amen. They, 
if you think happy thoughts, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it does not. You change your destiny. Now, I'm not saying that a good attitude ain't a good thing, Brother right. Sonny. I mean, hey, seeing the glass half full is better than seeing it half empty. But right. you can sit there and wish all day long. You still dying. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You ain't got no money in the bank. You still going to be without some electricity. Right. <laughs> Happy thoughts don't do anything. Right. And don't work in God. But we, we like to think that. We like to think if we just sit around and hope for it, that's going to happen. But it isn't. Action. Action. And it says without faith, it's impossible, it's impossible to please God. Amen. That don't mean faith as a, as a, as a necessarily just a, a thought of mine. It means getting up, Brother Sonny, from your place and getting up and doing something. Yes. Amen. It's our part. Amen. Yes. Getting up and doing something. Yes. Amen. Yes. A lot of people think a lot of things. And they're sincere. But you can be sincerely wrong. Exactly. Amen. I can have God and stay at the house too. Well, then you've missed the whole point of what Christ was doing. There's Amen. a seed within you, yes. and you are to produce to give something back to this world. Amen. And you sitting there in your own four little walls ain't doing nothing. Right. But we've got to get to the point where we're tired of being pushed around. Amen. We're tired of church as normal. We're tired of the way that things are going in the church world. Let me tell you something. We can be tired and just sit right there and blame it on, on this one and that one and everything. But you got to be pointing at you. And you got to realize that. I'll tell you what. It only takes one. Manoah was one person. Right. Come on, right. Yeah, that's right. But his whole, he saved his whole household. His, yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. must have believed him. But he didn't say that Noah talked to his whole family. He said, I mean, God talked to Noah's whole family. He said, God talked to Noah. Uh, yeah, right. You know what? Moses was one man. Right. But he come out of Egypt with a whole bunch of people. Right, right. Fruitful. Yeah, Anything yeah. that God does is fruitful. Amen. It's fruitful. It multiplies, Brother Sonny. You're going to come out with more than you walked away to walk in with. Right. Let me tell you, one person can change the whole. You ever been somewhere and y'all all laughing, having a good time? Somebody walks through the room and you just feel the room go. Like, all joy was sucked out of the room all of a sudden. That person walked through the door and it was like, right. Everybody's like, I don't even remember. We were laughing. <laughs> you can feel the tension so much in the room, they say. You can cut it with a knife. I've been in situations that's like, Oh, you know. Yes. One person walked through the room, didn't say a word, didn't do anything. One person just walked through the room. Their presence changed the whole atmosphere. Yes, Come on. Let me tell you what, if we'll go back to our churches or wherever we go and we have that mindset, Brother Sonny, one person, it only takes one. Let me tell you something. One spark set a whole case, whole trailer on fire, go up within minutes. All you need is a spark. Right. Somebody to fan those flames. Right. A little bit of God breathing on a spark. Yeah. Come on, blow it up. Blow it up, Brother right. yeah. Light it all on fire. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anybody got anything they want to pray and put before the Lord? We'll pray with you as she sings.